Let's talk about network partition and partition tolerance in this short video. Let's imagine that we have a distributed database with three nodes and two of these nodes are in Europe and one of them is in North America. And we have some sort of networking mechanism going on among these nodes so the data can be synchronized among these nodes. Now let's imagine that there is a network issue between Europe and North America which means the node in North America could not access the nodes in Europe and similarly nodes in Europe could not access the node in North America. So this is basically partitioned network. So we have two siloed nodes. They are working on their own without any issue. So we can access this node in North America even though it couldn't talk to the other two nodes in Europe. This node is still functional maybe with some compromise on the consistency. This node is still accessible but we have two isolated networks one is in the Europe and the other one is in North America and this is basically network partition right now if we design a system in a way that that can withstand this kind of problem then we call that system as a partition tolerant system in this case if this node in North America is still accessible then the applications in North America can still connect to this database but it's just that it may not see any updates happening on Europe in some situation that may be okay because your system is at least available maybe with some inconsistency issue. So such a design is called partition tolerant design because even if the network is partitioned the nodes are still accessible and the application which uses these copies are still functional. I hope this is useful. Thank you.